Jeff, I have a number for you. 1,097. That's how many days it's been since Purdue's last win here at Assembly Hall. The Hoosiers are 3-1 and one against Purdue ever since head coach Mike Woodson was hired here two seasons ago. But in the last four games, they've all been decided by eight points or less. Despite what happened last year when the Hoosiers swept Purdue or just the overall hype about this rivalry, both Zach Eady and Braden Smith said that they're treating this like just another game. I mean, they're a great team. Um, every Big Ten game on the road is going to be tough, um, and it's a rival rivalry, so that kind of makes it a little bit harder. So just got to go in and play our basketball. Every game is big. Uh, there's no game that's worth more than one win or one loss. Um, every game is big. We, need, we know what type of game this is. We know what type of game this means um, for the school. Um, but every game is big for us. Now, Indiana won't have Trace Jackson Davis, who dropped 25 on Purdue last year in this building, or Jalen hood Shafino, who scored 35 in their win at Mackey. Both of those guys moved on to the NBA, but Indiana still has a lot of talent. Trey Galloway, who head coach Matt Painter heavily recruited, put up 28 points against Kansas earlier this season. Painter said yesterday that Galloway makes a lot of winning plays, and he can affect the game with his defense and awareness. Indiana is led by Malik Renu, who has had 10 games with at least 15 points, and Khalil Ware, who's had three double-doubles since the beginning of the month. Painter said that they need to balance stopping those two without overdoing it and allowing someone else to have a big night. They have a real good connection between the two of them, too. You can see some of the lobs that Renault throws where, you know, they, they have, you know, that connectivity um, on the interior where they pass it to each other and share the basketball. But, um, you know, they're not their only two guys, but uh, just kind of that, that one-two punch on the front line is pretty impressive. They've played better than us here in the last couple of years. Um, they've made more plays than us. They've been tougher than us. Um, they forced turnovers. Um, so they've, uh, they, they've had the upper hand on us the last couple of years. Painter also mentioned this building. He said the environment that they have here is very imposing. He said they've had some success and some struggles. Yesterday, the team practiced with that fake loud crowd noise to prepare for this atmosphere. It was the first time that they've done that this season, but against IU, they do it every year. Painter said they've done it for the last 20 years whenever they have to travel down here to Bloomington. I was at that practice yesterday and it was loud. I could barely hear myself think. And after practice, when I spoke with Lance Jones about their preparation, he agreed. Yeah, it was, it was, it was damn loud in there. <laughs> It was it was real loud, but uh, yeah, that was our first time. And you know, they kind of told me a couple of days ago that you know we would be playing with uh, crowd noise, so you know that place would be rocking. Um, but as long as we stay together and stick together, and you know, just take it one play at a time, then you know we'll be good. Now, Jones said that he didn't have a rivalry like this one when he was at Southern Illinois, but he's heard about this one and he knows it's crazy. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m. The game is being streamed only on Peacock, but if you do not have access to watch the game, we'll have a full recap of it tonight on News 18 at 11. For now, reporting from Bloomington, Kelly Hallinan, Sports 18.